Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. So today, hopefully we're gonna be starting off the Draw Your OCs um, little video series. And yeah, so I'm gonna be quickly making a smaller canvas. I don't know what size to make these. I do wanna make these a little bit smaller than my usual um, digital paintings, just because I want to make sure that I can do like a few of them. Hopefully I can do two or three today and then another two or three um, the next day. So we're going to do a three by four canvas and I have this dark gray just set out. And I have my phone here or one second. I have my phone here so I can just quickly check and browse through your guys' OCs. So I did check a little bit um, just to see if people did submit because I was nervous that people weren't going to submit anything. but. Um, there was quite a few that actually caught my eye, so we're gonna start with this one first. I do apologize about the lighting in my room. I don't have any curtains. I only have blinds, so there's a lot of light streaming in. So, I think we're gonna start off with this one. I'm just trying to make sure not to get my reflection, but we're gonna start off with this one first. I really like the color scheme, and I haven't drawn a character like this before. Um, I haven't drawn short curly hair nor have I drawn someone a little bit more feisty looking. So let's start off with this person's OC, which I will put their name on the screen and we can get started. So do they, they do have a little uh, crow gunk with them, which I think is very cute. And I really like that he has a scarf, but because of my lack of ability to draw animals and Pokemon accurately without derpifying them, um, I'm gonna leave him out of this for now. And if I feel okay about it, maybe I'll pop them in. So these are going to be technically just portrait kind of sketches. I am going to paint and render them a little bit, but I'm not going to render them up to a certain, like, the usual finish. Just because it might be a little bit more difficult to do many of them in one video. And I don't want this video to be technically an hour long. I guess I want them facing this way. Hello? Okay, I'm gonna have to bring the reference closer. I made the eyes too big already. Considering I had this kind of just set out on the head already. I'm gonna give him a stronger chin. I feel like I should have made the character facing the other way. <laughs> so he could have drawn his kind of, I don't know, are those like bites or scars or... Either way, it's like I could have done that detailing as well as adding in the piercings, because this side doesn't have any. I'm gonna try to keep these fairly clean so that the coloring and the cleanup is gonna be fairly easy. Okay, let's do this hair. So I'm actually really interested in trying to get the correct texture. So, I'm going to put in his hairline. So, compared to the other videos, I'm probably going to be cutting out a lot of footage just because we're going to try, like, I'm going to try my best to have a lot of the... What am I saying? I want to have a lot of footage of each one. I'm not getting the right texture. I need to make these, like, tighter curls. I feel like my brain scattered, so I don't remember what I was talking about, but I'm going to try my best to fit as many as I can in one video. And I'll try to make one ASMR and one real-time. Not real-time, like, um, like this, I guess. It'll be this video, I guess. I could have put 
everyone on one canvas and then headshots and then kind of just like mold them together. <laughs> she would have been another option. Looks a little too light next to this gray. I don't want to make it too orangey either. So I can thicken up his lips a little bit. Oops. I feel like if I can't cram, not cram, I don't want to cram these. If I can't do too many in one session, then I will just change this halfway and be like, make it either just music or I'll have to do a voiceover. His eyes are already like a really pretty blue color. So I'm gonna start off with this blue and we can slowly darken it up and kind of make it match the character's eyes. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna throw Krogunk into here, even though it would have been cute to draw him in the scarf. I feel like I miss drawing my OCs. I drew Masaki Masaki a little bit yesterday. That's kind of nice. He's like my comfort character, I guess. Like, I love drawing him just because I know how I want to draw him, and he's like the easiest for me to draw. darker orange to the side. A little bit underneath here. And then I'll probably add purple to his hair just because we're getting closer and closer to like a red. I shade a lot of things with purple. So just to make this easier myself, I'll make sure that I'll only keep everything to maybe half an hour to an hour each. do these back on DeviantArt too, near like the holidays time. I would do like sketch requests for people. And it's usually of their OCs. <laughs> I think I only did that for I think three years and then I did it once on Instagram. I 
thing is, like, I think I don't understand the shape of it. Because there's definitely more body up here. I keep making hair wanting to go down instead. I think that's why I have a trouble um, painting short hair, too. Because if it sticks up, then, like, suddenly I'm lost. <laughs> Can I get like a texture into this part of his hair? Because it's supposed to be kind of like shaven, I'm assuming, right? Which means that you can get more of a different texture into here. So that it reads not, um, not like a bunch of hair. It's kind of like stubbly texture of hair. Hope you guys don't mind that these are kind of like like painted sketches instead of like fully rendered drawings. Cause I think I'll lose my sanity if I had to do like six or like four in a row that were like fully painted. Like I've drawn characters that have more of these tighter curls before. But I think I never really painted them before. I've always done them in like a more illustrative way where it's just like a giant chunk and then you draw on the texture. I don't know why I went with trying to sketch it out like this. Sorry, I wasn't able to get like that volume you had right here. You know, like the front of his... I guess it'll be like a mohawk. Um, yeah. I don't want to give this one another go. <laughs> I'm gonna add the orange a little bit back into either his jacket or his like vest. Um, or I meant his shirt, I guess. But I really like his color scheme. I don't think I got the earthy tones correct. Um, I made mine a little bit too dull. So I don't think it's reading the same way. I think I'm gonna do some sketches in my sketchbook. I kind of, like, I don't know why I'm so frustrated with not being able to do his hair correctly. Because I know I've done it before. I don't know why. I approached this one differently, which is really dumb of me. I should have blocked out the shapes in more instead of trying to add these little strands and line work into here, like immediately. Because now this looks a little bit um, of chaos. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't butcher your character too much. Um, thank you very much for submitting your character. And we'll move on to the next one. I don't know if I can do this one justice either. This one's super cute. My screen's a little blown out. And this color palette's like right up my alley just because I love like... Um, purples, pinks, and blues together. We could do this one. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see so we can start. I love her glasses shape, so cute. So she has really large eyes, which I think is very cute. I'm gonna keep some design aspects the same. Um, she's more of a round face. Okay, so her glasses are these really cute round glasses, except for they look like 
The glasses are like crying. The shape of the glasses are super cute. We'll darken up things as we go. I guess this hand would be sideways though. I do apologize that the first one feels like a warm up. <laughs> that or it's because I feel like maybe I just have more pose ideas for females even though I draw males more. her up a little bit. Ah, so her earrings are actually like this. They're like connected. Her sleeve ends there. So I don't actually don't know if this is how the sleeve is, but okay. I'm just gonna quickly darken up some areas just because I don't know. I was drawing super light today. <laughs> She looks a little cross-eyed. I love characters with glasses, which I'm surprised I didn't make an OC with glasses yet. I mean, technically Masaki. Where's them? But not often, because I love coloring and rendering kind of like glass. Just because of the reflections are fun to do. are kind of like this blue color so I'm actually gonna start off with the similar color that I did with the other OC but we're gonna go more towards purple so we're darkening it I guess we should add pink and technically I'll figure this out. I don't know. If I like this or not. I'm gonna change the shape of the heart a little bit. Because they don't match. And then for hair. I'm gonna start off with this because they have a little bit of a gradient almost. The color is a white, so I'll just use this color that I used for their eyes. The 
this part is white as well. I'm gonna have to move her eye. I feel like I always make the the side of the eye too far away. <laughs> Probably because I draw this eye first. So I'm not sure if this is like a sea creature, so I don't know if whether or not to call these ears, but I have to differentiate this from the hair a little bit. I'm gonna try to make the hair a little bit darker in some areas. This should be the lighter color. Okay, let's merge everything. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of pink down here. Okay, let's start to render this a little bit. I spent almost half an hour on this one. I don't know if I like the slip. Might just leave it like that. Also, you guys should listen to Beck Yadin's new album. Mini album? Mini album. Or is it an album? I actually don't remember. So I think I'm gonna do mostly the characters that are, or like the OCs that have color in them, just because I am gonna paint them. But any of the characters that I pick that don't have color with the reference, maybe I'll do a sketch page where I'll just merge a bunch of different OCs onto one canvas. So I can include those ones too. And I like sketching anyway, so that should be fun. I'll just darken up like these parts, these sections, and then try to block out these, just to get rid of like pretty much all of these sketch lines. There's more hours in the day, I'll be able to do the full, like, rendered draw your OC ones. Maybe I'll do them for a future video, but I think the first few will definitely be just kind of like this, like even for the ASMR ones, just because it'll be easier to edit and you guys can see majority of the process. the same thing with the other one where I kind of made a color between the hair and the background to make it look like it's kind of receding into the background a little bit more. So 
So I don't know if I want to use this tool to do it. I can use this one maybe. Okay. This is outlined a little bit of the stuff at the bottom and then I think this one's gonna be done. Okay, so let's bring down this color to help find some shapes for her hair. I really need to fix my posture. I feel like I'm just sitting like a shrimp. This is bad for my back. color in her sleeves, block this out, and then I'm gonna make them, the sleeves a little bit warmer. In some areas, just because I don't know if I like the cool shadows on all of it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna alternate, so I'll do another male next. And then the next time I do another Draw Your OC video, it will be alternating the other way. Okay. I guess it's supposed to be more purple than pink. So I'm going to have to change this a little bit. <laughs> Trying to make this look like it's puffing out a little bit more. Just because it is a lot of hair going into one place. their earrings and their ears unless it is a different part of their body <laughs> and just to make these Pop. I'm gonna add an addition layer. I'm gonna use a purple. Use my paint. I'm just gonna use the Gaussian blur just because I don't want. I'm a little lazy to actually change this. that's the second one done. A little bit messier, but I think that's okay. Um, hope you enjoyed this and thank you for submitting your OC. Um, yeah, so now on to the next one. Okay, so I'm gonna pick another- oh. Let's see, okay, I don't know if it's because I like watercolor painting a lot, but this one's really cute. Um, what else? So this is the one I was talking about. I really like the green hair. I think it's really cute. Especially with this kind of like orangey red. Um, there was another one. Another like, kind of like shire 
male character. I think it's closer to the bottom. This one's quite cute too. Um, but let's do... Hmm. You guys have like really pretty aesthetics on here. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I think we're gonna do this one. Mmm, but it's another one with blue hair. I'll have to think carefully about this. Give me one second. Okay, maybe we'll do this one first. So this one's done by Isu Hui. And it's their OC Soho. We'll give this one a go. So new canvas. I'm just gonna think what background color would fit him. I guess because he does have a little bit of purple into his outfit, but not very much. Maybe we'll go with a little bit more of a purple color. So this one leaves me a little bit more with interpretation just because of the are these like i guess these are called like gotcha characters i'm not too sure i'm not too familiar with them oh i should have picked a character with maybe lighter eyes that would have been fun to do I feel like I want to redo the first one, I'm so sorry. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll do like a quick redo or something. I'll pop it at the end. So, okay, I'm going to change a little bit of something just because uh, the horns should be coming from his skull. So I need to figure a way to work around the bangs in the way. Yeah, okay, I'll add the hair after. So let's add in his horns. The alternative is to have the horns just coming out of the skull behind the hair, which could also work. He does have longer hair on this side. The gotcha thingy. Is that just like a OC creator thing? Or is it a game? I literally know nothing about this. <laughs> I've seen them floating around. Especially as people's like profile pictures. So I just thought it was like a character designing game app. But also like a jacket, which I'll put underneath the hood. Okay, so for his jacket... On this band, I'm gonna leave this for the zipper.
just like the rest. I'm gonna darken up like the bottom of the neck part. Not bottom of the neck, the underside of his um, chin area, just because this is more of a sketch. I'm gonna be treating it. Yeah, you guys see it very differently. Yeah, you guys probably have to check out when I post these later. <laughs> because the colors look very off on video. Duplicate. Multiply. Whoa, he looks blown out. <laughs> Lighting in my room. Please. Shadow. And his eyes are dark brown, so we'll start with a muted brown. This side should be darker. Now let's make the jacket and the hoodie kind of look a little different. I'm gonna put and make this a little bit darker just to put a difference between these two and then it has more of a, a bluish Maybe we should match it with this hair. See, if you guys can't tell, this is like the skin tone I have picked for him. But if I, as soon as I zoom out, he's overexposed. <laughs> so you guys have to trust me that the skin isn't like white, like a pasty white. <laughs> I didn't add any highlights to his hair, so let's quickly do that. And then I'll quickly add a shadow to this manually. Like took a small break. My back feels like uh I'm gonna add a lighter highlight color for the side. I'm gonna get rid of these lines. I'm seriously hoping you guys are okay with me leaving these as sketches. Wait, he has like a white highlight as well on his hair that I forgot. erase these lines that we kind of don't need and look how I'm just like throw them back in I 
Yeah, I think I'm just gonna clean up all these little stray lines near his eyes. Except for like the one probably under his eyes. past I mentioned like I wanted to redo Sato's design but this one I think um I just have to suck it up and just draw Sato I, I really do enjoy drawing her when I don't have to draw a full body of her I think which isn't good but um at least I know it's not like probably her hair and stuff because I thought it would be her hair but my but I'm might have been the issue just because it's a little bit elaborate. I didn't listen to Soraru again. I haven't listened to his songs in a bit. I love his Marigold cover. I think it's definitely one of my favorites. Sit up straight. Gotta sit up straight, you shrimp. So I can sure I didn't miss any important details. change the lighting again a little bit after. I just want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing on like the sweatshirt or I guess his hoodie and the, the jacket. I actually didn't notice this, but, um, are gotcha, are they just got gotcha club or is it gotcha? Whatever these characters are from, do they have fingers or are they just these like little hands like this? Cause I actually didn't realize that maybe if he actually had like mittens on, and now I can't tell. I think this one is more or less done. I keep touching things up, I can't. Okay, no, we're, we're stopping. Okay, so this is the last one for probably today's video. Um, so that's the three that I did today. I am thinking about redoing this or I'll do something so that we can fix this at the end or something. We'll see. I might change the pose or something or throw a hand in there. So one, two, and three. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this um, and I'll hopefully be doing more Draw Your OC videos. Um, kind of like sporadically, but I'll definitely do this one and then the next one will be an ASMR version where I'll pick another three hopefully and show you guys the process. Um, thank you guys so much for um, the massive support on YouTube as well as on Instagram and any of my other platforms. I really do appreciate it And thank you guys for submitting your OCs for me to draw. I had a lot of fun working on all three of the OCs today And yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!